Florida took a major step towards a possible NCAA tournament bid with a three-point win over Ole Miss today in Oxford. Hi, everyone. Tim Brando along with Mike Jaminski exclusively for CBSSports.com. And uh, very impressive play by Vernon Macklin inside. He carried this team with 16 of his 22 in the first half. Well, and I think that Ole Miss has been exposed by strong post players in the past, and Macklin took advantage of that in this game, really uh, – carried them offensively in the first half 16 of his 22 points there did a variety of things in the low block the nice little jump hook showed the ability to put the ball on the floor and get a three-point play opportunity and I thought all game long Timmy did a terrific job of running out and beating Ole Miss's front line down the uh, down the floor Andy Kennedy's worst nightmare was once again losing the game at the free throw line and as you look at the numbers Mike it's clearly illustrated that's what happened they have taken as many shots at the line as their opponents have made and today is another example of that. Yeah, you look at it, uh, one of three from three-point, but that really didn't hurt him, outscoring them by 16 at the free-throw line. Irving Walker was terrific in the last minute, keeping them with that three-point cushion. Florida with that matchup with Tennessee and Kentucky, yet to come so many more opportunities for Billy Donovan. But right now, wouldn't you say they're inside the bubble line? No question about it. And this was a really devastating consecutive home loss for Andy Kennedy and, and his old Miss team. Uh, just can't give away those home losses. But I think that Billy Donovan and great shape with 19 wins now. Anytime you can win on the road, that's a good thing. Well, for Mike Jaminski, this is Tim Brando. And don't forget, we'll continue coverage throughout the week right here on CBSSports.com.